So with our new B61 programs, we have to triple our production capacity, something we've never been able to do in the past. In order to do that, we cannot rely on our old processes of using cranes and a lot of manual lifting, two-man operations. We needed to find ways to make it easier, faster, and safer. So when we first started down this path to improve our capacity, we needed to look at the user and how they're using the current processes. So before the current process was put in place, uh, engineering and I sat down and discussed better ways to move ahead on the new project as it was going to be a lot different than what we had done with the previous program. Some of the previous processes were outdated. It took a lot more manpower to physically do the job. You wasted a lot of momentum, a lot of steps, you know, back and forth to your workstation to buy off operations, things like that. And it was more dangerous. Yeah, there was a lot more hoisting, a lot more chance for a serious injury. Based on the operator's needs, we determined that we need to focus on reducing hoisting operations, improve ergonomics, and provide precise alignment systems. Having engineers work very early in the process with the users, which in this case is the operators, made it very easy to recognize the fact that we needed to change some things. With engineering and operators working very close together, they have come up with the tooling that you see behind me. Several prototypes were gone through, several things were looked at, and the design is considered successful and never had to build a product until the design was proved in, which has saved tremendous cost. In the past, it was very ergonomically challenging to build these parts, and now we have reduced ergonomics tremendously. When the physical tools were delivered to the National Security Campus, we were able to conduct expert and user evaluations. We had our operators come down and evaluate the tools just to get their response, make sure they were meeting the needs that we thought we were trying to meet. Uh, engineering came and got me to come down and test out the new equipment to make sure that it was going to be a good fit for the project and for the production fabricators that are working on the project, and I think it went really well. I far prefer it to the old way. Doing this very early in the process has given the operators an ownership, and we've created a very strong teaming effort between the engineering and the operators in this area. So in the end, working very closely with the customer, which is the operator, and tying all that back to engineering, receiving the new tooling, we feel very confident that we're going to meet our triple capacity.